Hello and welcome to North Star Stamper. I'm Sue Creamer. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! Oh, demonstrator in Minnesota. Let me find my live video on my tablet. Doing the lives nice. lets me talk to you through comments. Let's see, where are we? There we are. I think, I think, I think, I think. So today we are using the Iconic dies. If you have... There we go. All right, if you have your annual catalog handy, um, the dies are standalone. They are not part of a bundle, so there's no coordinating okay. stamp set. So I think they get overlooked a lot. Um, they are on page 163 of your current annual catalog. And you see this little icon here. Let me make sure we can see. Hello, friends, and welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay, let me put this down a little further. This little icon here. Um, tells you that the mini stamp and emboss machine will hold will fit these um, dies. So really do that? all my die cutting for today, I use my mini machine. I'm going to give you a quick commercial about the mini machine. I think I all... if I remember correctly, it's two pounds. I didn't, I didn't. Um, you can see it is small. You can actually put it in in my video. Um, I, I will say the only limitation to oh, it no, for me. Sense is that your embossing folders need to be three oh. inches or narrower. So right now, this is the variety of um, embossing folders we have. I think like this one might be retired, but I still use it. There's no reason I can't. Um, so we're, they're adding to this collection, and I always thought that we could, let me grab another embossing folder, a wider one. Um, if you have access to somebody with a saw, there's no reason they couldn't cut this either in half. The opening on that machine is three inches, so you could have somebody cut this for you. Be careful that the edges aren't sharp when they do that for you. And then it would fit in your machine. So to me, that's the only drawback of the machine. Um, I believe you can include it in a starter kit if you're interested in joining as a demonstrator. I'd love to have you on the North Star, no, the Polo Polaris stamping team. Okay, enough commercials. So the Iconic dies. When you die cut them, this is what they look like. Um, and I did them in what colors that you might think they should be in. I did have, sorry for the crinkly, I did have an, um, an adhesive sheet on the back of all of my um, cardstock before I die cut them. So they stick very nicely and quickly. The hardest part is getting the liner off the back to make them into stickers. I love the details of the designs. It's something you don't get if you stamp an image and fussy cut it. You don't get all these details. So I have, so that's my sample. Here are the dies, and I have them on a magnetic sheet. Um, I have some die cut, and this is what we're going to be using today. I just have one flower. I ran out of brown paper that had um, the adhesive on the back, so I just die cut what I had, so we're going to play around with that. The bird, I don't know, we're going to add colors to him, and that's something we're going to talk about is adding colors. Um, what else do I have on my table? So I have lots of ideas on things we can put behind our die cuts. Um, I just have some neutral, let me get rid of this, this is kind of noisy, there we go. I just have some neutral card bases. Um, I ran these through my mini cut and emboss machine. These are both crumb cake. Um, I'm going to show you the pieces and then we'll make a card together. I, they are crumb cake and they are the mini, um, the narrow embossing folders. Um, we're going to, if I use one of those, here, let's just do that right now. I would add some color. This is garden green with a dauber and just add a little bit of color to make these pop and just add some interest. I could do these berries in a, like a brown or something or a red, but I have green. We're going to use just green today. So this is a quick way to add some interest to your card, some texture, literally. So that's kind of pretty. We might use that. I have no idea what we're doing today. So that, like I've said before, it kind of makes me nervous when I don't know what we're doing. I know we're making a card with the dies. 
So if we use, let's use some soft suede on this one. Maybe you can give me input on which one you think we should use. So this is soft suede, again with a dauber, and I'm just going to rub it. Gently, I'm not pushing very hard. I want it to, and there I push too hard so you can. I'm just, I want the recipient to see that this piece was embossed. So that's a great way to add some interest. So that was soft suede. I think that's the dots and checks. I don't know. They're in the annual catalog. Some other ideas I had for backgrounds for our dies are in, um, designer series paper. These are from, I looked it up, in your annual, annual catalog. This is the In Good Taste designer series paper on page 132. This is one time that Stampin' Up! Um, carried over some designer series paper, and I'm glad they did. You see me use this a lot. So, let's grab... A piece and we'll we'll just show you what it would look like and then I don't know something will something will speak to me this is smoky slate and I have a full piece here I guess the the um, crumb cake doesn't really go with smoky slate does it so if you just add some of your die cuts oh I was gonna do the flower but I'm thinking not the flower now maybe I'll add some color to the bird and then just See, I'm already thinking. I think the flower and the leaves will go inside the card, and on the front we'll do the bird on a branch and then put a sentiment. But I don't like these colors. This one might be better. It has more browns in it to go with our crumb cake. I like all the layers. Oh, actually, the other thing I thought we could do is actually stamp. So, so far, I've done no stamping. So there are times when I'll make a card... Oh, that didn't go real well, did it? I normally do um, score when I uh, use the four and a quarter by eleven design uh, cardstock for my card base. So I think I'll do that. Oh, I have another piece. Um, so lots of layers, and I think we'll do that. But I do want to stamp, so I pulled in. The, I, I noticed the glare last week when I watched my video. The Natural Textures stamp set is also in the annual catalog. It is a hostess only set. It's on page 171. I know the video gets funny when I do this. Um, so if you host a workshop, which is orders that combine to $150. So if you're not, if your wish list isn't that long, find a friend or two and if your wish lists combine are $150 you could get the stamp set it's a $22 value for $13 and I love the brick so we're actually going to use that today forget the designer series paper we're going to use this um what else was I going to show you oh let me score this in half and make sure I score it, not cut. I've been known to do that. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. And that was sticking to my... It's so sticky. It, it is sticky. That's why they call, are called cling. So we're going to put this on a block. Let's just get started with stamping. We're going to get these other things out of the way. All right. Um, I do have one more organizational tip to share with you. Um, but when we get there, I'll share it with you. So I'm going to use gray granite. I think that's a great color for bricks. And let me get a piece of paper under here so I don't have quite the mess. Hopefully you can see. I think you can. Let me give myself a second. All right. Um, we're just going to randomly put this. want some lighter ones so I'm going to stamp off I wish I had there how's that we can always add more all right and I kind of like this one no I think I like the green and I wish
wish I had a piece of green behind there, but I don't have any handy. Or do we just want that? No, see, I think we need a layer. This is where I hem and haw. I think we will trim this down a little bit. We're going to cut this one in half. I believe it was two inches because I think it was a layer. Yep, so I'm going to cut it in half at one. You know what? I do want to grab some paper. I have a piece right here. No, no, no. Sorry, I do need to step across the room. I want to put a little bit of um, separate this from that since it is the same color. And I'm going to grab some green. I use garden green on this. We're going to use this piece. I like the leaves better than the berries. And we'll have the branch coming through and the bird. I do want a layer there, like I said. Let's see if I have anything handy. I do not. All right, then. Um, I posted in my chat group. I asked for suggestions for next week. Um, it's so troll. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, it's a card front. It's a card front, but. And I knocked over all my ribbon. That's all right. This will work. So I asked what you wanted to see for next week. I suggested a fun fold, a technique, or a theme of a card like birthday or sympathy. I do have some new products that I haven't used yet. So um, I have the tulips that coordinate with the windmill. That was an interesting purchase. So we could do that. I've been playing around with it a little bit. Um, what's the other? I had one other new one. Oh, in the annual catalog, there is the... Elegantly said, um, sweet, and I have all that, and I don't think I've ever used that on a video. So if I don't hear much from you, I will be doing that. All right, so there's our card. We'll put the flower on the inside just to add some interest. And I want to show you one more thing. In getting ready to put, um, put my table into my space... I had to pull everything out, and I came across this liner or protector for a Lungeberger basket. And I had I have a basket full of partial projects, so I'm going to use this to organize. Um, you can see these are already stamped, and some have, you know, um, designer series paper attached or whatever. These are colors. But I think this will be a quick way for me to just grab a piece and yeah, I'm just keep working so I don't have to get my machine out. The, um, I kind of like the vanilla. So um, I also have in this, in this corner, I just have scraps. Um, I do like to watch Jeopardy every afternoon at 4.30 with Tony. Um, so I think what I'll do is take my mini machine upstairs with me and go through and find oops, all my light colored scraps that are this size. And then I will just die cut pieces to go on cards to fill this up. And it'll be much quicker when I'm designing a card and if I'm in a hurry or something. So that was that's my organizational tip. Find a way to organize all your pieces. All right, I'm going to stamp a sentiment on here. Sorry, I'm not looking at comments. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. All right. Okay. Why do I keep I just grabbed a bunch of birthday um, uh, sets that had birthday sentiments in it, and I know that glare from my new lamp that I took from Andrew's wow. stash. Um Friendly Hello is a celebration item that comes with coordinating designer series paper through the end of February. Elegantly Said, that was the one I mentioned earlier. I love this stamp. Um, the Wishing You a Wonderful Birthday is a nice sentiment. And I don't think I've ever used the welcoming window, this one, that says Sending Sunshine for a Beautiful Birthday. I thought that might be kind of nature-themed. So let's decide what shape we want to use, and then we will put... Oh, I kind of like that. Uh, let's see. 
that's kind of nice. Or we could do... I know when I'm watching... I think I mentioned this before. When I'm watching other people do this in videos, I always have a, a suggestion for them. Or, you know, it's like, oh, I hope they do this. Or I hope they do that. And a lot of times they don't do what I want them to do. So it's kind of funny. I, I always hesitate to do this with you. All right. So there's the beautiful sunshine. And you get to see more of the brick that way. Let's do that. Because I do have one more thing to show you. Something different. And I forgot to check um, the clearance rack. So I hope these are still there. These are the foam layer that fits into a Stamparatus. It was $1.80. So um, if anybody has access, can you see if they are still available? We're going to use this for stamping on instead of my Stampin' Pierce mat. I have one handy, but I don't know where it went. Okay. Um, we're going to coordinate this with the green um, cardstock by using Garden Green. All right. Let's test this first. Oops, sorry, I bumped the track. Out. I think this will work just as well. I wish this had more ink on it, so I'm going to ink, 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 ink really well all over. This needs to be re-inked. And I'm going to put this off to the side. I'll hold it for a minute. I'm pushing firmly, but I'm not. Ta-da! That's good. All right. So instead of a stamp and pierce mat, I have a stamp or at a, um, insert. Like I said, they were on the clearance rack. I don't know. I meant to check. I don't know if they still are. I hope they are. That was a good deal. All right. Um, let's add some color to our bird. I don't have a lot of colors on my desk or table. I'm going to pull this back out. And all these pieces do come out. I could use if they... I made sure they were coming out before I took the dye off the bird. You can just use your take your pick tool to poke them out. I love the details. There's our bird. I thought green was a good color for a, the base of the bird. And these are the only colors I have on my table. Gray granite, crumb cake, and soft suede. And we'll just use one piece stuck. Uh oh. This does not look like it has. Oh, it does. Okay. I was afraid it didn't have the um, uh, adhesive sheet on the back. Let's start with crumb cake. That's our lightest. And we will just add. Give him dark feet. Oh, here. If you if it went everywhere, we could get an outline of him. Wouldn't that be cute? Uh, we'll give him a brown tail. Crumb cake tail. I'm going to switch to soft suede. I'm going to use the same dauber. Oh my and we're going to color in most of his body. Why do I keep and maybe his beak. There. I think that's cute. So that's one way we can color our birds. And that's another option for your sponge dollars. It's a good use for them. All right. Let's put our card together. And I think we're done. So let me know what you want to see next week. I love getting input. Oh, I had a list. So next week we talked about that. Oh, I received all my swaps. I did a card swap with some other demonstrators. And I received two more today. So I think that's all of them. I will create a blog post. And that will be on my blog later this week. I'll try to get it up tomorrow. No promises. We'll see how technology cooperates. I'm just using liquid glue to put these on. Um, and then for those of you that participated or purchased a stamp, uh, my Christmas stamp a stack kit, I sent you a, um, uh, an email with a survey in it. But if you would like to help me plan my next um, birthday stamp a stack, let me know and I will send you the survey. So it will ask about the Christmas stamp a stack kit that I sent. You could just ignore those um, questions. I'm going to tuck this under there. 
And then I'm going to take the liner off of here. So let me know if you're interested in a Christmas or birthday stamp a stack. Either just leave a comment on my video, call me, text me, email me, whatever works for you. And um, I'm going to get that planned in the next couple weeks. With the Christmas stamp a stack, I did a vid live video. I called it my North Star Stamper Classroom. And so those the people that had purchased the kit got to join me live. And I gave them lots of ideas for the kit. Um, I have gotten some great responses. Thank you very much for those of you that have already responded to my survey. Um, and I, I noticed that at least one person wanted... So I'm just taking the liner off my adhesive sheet and I probably didn't need to pull out all those little pieces because the, it does come off in the liner and this is garbage. Um, back to my survey. Um, somebody had wanted more direction and me to cut the pieces for cards so I think with the next kit, the birthday stamp a stack, um, I'll do a combination of just cardstock with the designer series paper and then I will cut some of it to give you some ideas. So that's kind of my thinking. But I would love your input. So there's our card so far. We're going to decorate the inside too. I do want to put a layer on the inside. Where did my paper go? So I have to cut. We'll let you look at this. I like how it turned out. I did grab some twine. Which maybe we'll just put a piece of that twine around the top. Oh, wrong way. Just to add stability to the card, I'm going to add a layer. And I'm going to make it a smaller layer, so four by five and a quarter. And let's adhere the flower. And which leaves? I think I like these leaves. No. Because the flower's so open, I think I like the more solid leaves. So we're going to put one leaf on first. Thank you for joining me. Oh my gosh. I hope you're staying healthy and warm. We're That's getting a warm nice up he was, here in he Minnesota this back. week. We're going to hit 40 he for the first time did, since mid December. Did. That's kind of exciting. So yes, we have snow on the ground that's been here for months. I can't get this liner off. That's because I'm talking. I think I need to be quiet. Sorry. Yep, that's the trick. Nope, that's not working either. Oh, here. Maybe. Is that? This is, like I said, this is the hardest part, taking this liner off. I, me neither, I don't do that much. But... There we go. So I'm just going to put that across the bottom. Okay. And hopefully I can get this off more easily. Okay. Well, I did cut a light green so I could use my dauber again and get that any shade I want and play around. And... All right. Maybe next time I need to have these already off. Sorry. Oh, you're kidding me. Mm -hmm. oh, well, I don't know. We're just having trouble today. Yeah. So chat amongst yourselves. Look at your catalog if you have it handy. There we go. I got it. Okay, come back. <laughs> I'm going to set that gently there and try one more time to get this liner off because I do want two layers on this one. It just doesn't want to come. I don't know. Let's try the take your pick tool. I don't... I've never done this before. Oh, that worked. So, the take your pick. Well get under that liner too. Almost done. And then we'll go back and add some twine. I think that is the essentials twine back. Sorry, my hands are in the way. There. 
there was adhesive all over it, so they were like stickers. So this can go on the inside. And I know it's the same color, but I think I kind of like that. It'll just add stability to the card. Let's turn that over and give it a good swipe. And we're going to use this twine. I think it is crumb cake. We'll just tie a knot. I don't want to do a bow. I tied some bows on other cards recently and had trouble, so... You watched me struggle enough today <laughs> with my liners. So I'm gonna put my finger here. And then some scissors. And there's our card. Using the iconic guys and some basic supplies. Thank you for joining me. Happy stamping. Have a great week. Be with you next week. Bye. Alma just checked, and yes, the um, this mat is still on clearance. So if you don't have a Stampin' Pierce for use under your photopolymer, grab one, grab one of these real quick before they're gone. So thanks, Alma. <laughs> Talk to everybody next week. Bye.